Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Axel Savage. Today I'm talking about my solar uh, portable battery bank that I made. It uses a, a grow watt, 3000 watt inverter, it's 24 volts. Um, the way I have the batteries mounted on, on the carts, and these are um, Costco 3-in-1 carts. So what's nice about these carts, they're hand carts, is the three-in-one feature and the nice feature is the um, it angles so you can tilt them down into an angle and that's great so if you need to do any work on them or actually even when you're building the system you can just um, tilt it on tilt it down to an angle and and uh, and build it or again like if you're working on it or something uh, each of the carts they're two separate carts this one right here has a um, SOK batteries are 12 volts, 100 amp hours, and um, there's four. Uh, they're in a series parallel connect uh, setup, so they uh, will be 24 volts and 100 amp hours per uh, battery bank. Each battery bank has a, a battery balancer on it, and uh, that just helps them keep the batteries balanced. Otherwise, they get out of whack over time. The the ba balancer is just just take care just take care of that makes it so much easier uh, equalizer is what it says on there um, and then there's the 200 amp uh, battery disconnect it's like a breaker and uh, what I did with these so uh, what I did with these is over here I um, use Anderson connectors which I can disconnect I can disconnect this battery bank from this unit here and um, so again so I can make it so they're separate and I do the same thing on this side I use Anderson connectors everywhere because of my other 200 200 amp breaker disconnect all these Anderson connectors and so everything's modular this whole unit is modular. Um, down here, these batteries are 24 volt, 200 amp hours for a total of 400 amp hours. So the whole unit, when both battery banks are connected together, like they are right now, they're 800 amp hours or about 20,000 uh, watt hours. So, that, which is what I wanted. Uh, but the, again, the nice thing is that it's all modular. So I, I can disconnect I can disconnect this here, this Anderson connector, and that disconnects it, the batteries from the um, inverter. And so if I ever need to take the inverter off for whatever reason or replace it or want to do anything, I can just pull pull those, pull that pull that Anderson connector and I can separate it. Same thing with the batteries here. I can just do the uh, the breaker, disconnect it, and then pull the connect Anderson connector, and this battery bank will be disconnected from um, from this. But this battery bank will still work on this, and then I can do it vice vice versa. I can pull the connector here, and then it'll only be this battery bank working. Or of course, I can disconnect them both, and then nothing's working. There's a solar input right here. You see the solar connectors right there. Um, I have a 30 amp RV connector with an adapter that goes up to the, um, uh, what do you call it, the power strip with a couple USB uh, chargers on it. And right now I'm running my freezer on here. It just runs 24 seven, uh, no issues at all. It just doesn't even dent the batteries or the usage. and just doesn't even, doesn't even know it's there that doesn't even know the refrigerator is there. Um, what else? Um, oh, the, the cord here, the extension cord, that's for uh, shore power or utility power. So if for some reason I go days and days and days without solar, which I have outside, I have 1600 watts solar panels outside. If for whatever reason I go for days and, and the batteries can't charge up, I can plug it in to the, uh, into the wall outlet and then the charger that's built into the unit will charge all the batteries. So that's just a, a backup feature. 
uh, what else can I tell you about this? Um, there's not a whole bunch more other than this thing is pretty awesome. I'm really liking it. Uh, um, everything goes, like I said, it's all this battery bank is fed over here to there, which goes to the bus bars and then all the bus, this battery bank, which into that connector, again, into the bus bars and then out of the bus bars into the connector and up into the, um, up into the um, inverter, 3000 watt, 24, 24 volt inverter. Again, um, with the 30 amp, I think I mentioned it already, but it connects to my toy hauler, which is, um, I have a small toy hauler, which is 30 amps. So this will run my toy hauler if I wanted to. I could actually roll this whole thing out there, plug it into my toy hauler, and um, it'll run my toy hauler. And if I wanted even more power, I, mean, I can bring both battery banks if I wanted to. Granted, my toy hauler does have batteries in there, and it has solar. But again, it's just redundancy. I like the fact that I can have options. I like options. So that's why it's all set up this way. Um, I can use the battery banks. This battery bank strictly is just a battery bank if I want. You know, DC, I'm going to put up a, I think I'm going to put up a DC um, um, panel up here with USBs and a 12 volt car lighter. So that one, so that way, this battery bank can be strictly um, DC if I want. This one runs AC and DC a little bit. I can you do a little bit of DC because of the the USBs on the um, bar strip. But other than that, I mean, that's it. It's I like it, and the thing works great. Like 1600 watts outside on my, in my backyard, I'm running my running my freezer just nonstop. I use my tools in here, just plug them in. Just plug them into the power strip. I use um, whatever I want. I got a fan that I plug into it. I mean, it's definitely overkill. I'm, I mean, why do I need 20,000 watt hours or whatever? It's just overkill. I like it. I like having all, again, options. And uh, maybe someday I'll put in a sub panel in my, you know, to my house and plug it in that way and run half the house on it. Because it's only, it's only a 110 or, yeah, 110. Uh, there's no 220 so if i do ever do a sub panel i can't run it obviously anything to 220 with this so no dryer no electric ovens stuff like that but um but who cares i mean i i'm happy with half the house i'll take that that would um supplement me running the darn ac all summer long because it gets hot out here where i live um that's it. I uh, hope you enjoy this. Like it. I know there's people going to, it's, it's a little messy wiring, but it all works. The cables are all long for a reason. So I can uh, plug in stuff from either side, move this battery bank from this side to that side. If I'm somewhere else, it doesn't matter. Everything reaches and it just makes it easier to um, connect and disconnect stuff, connect, connect and disconnect the battery banks uh, sp more specifically. Anyway, thanks. I uh, hope you like this, and I hope you guys get some ideas from this. And um, um, I'll talk to you. I'll shoot. Another, I'll talk to you. I'll shoot another video later for something. I don't know what, but I will. Thanks, Axel Savage. Out. Oh, and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. Bye.